In this video, we're going to start working with our Awesome Cycles website here. Now we've got .NET Nuke 6.2 installed. First thing we're going to do after we've kind of gone through the Getting Started page and watched the video is we want to remove that page from the website. So the Getting Started page is actually defined as the home page within .NET Nuke. What that means is when someone visits the Awesome Cycles website for the first time, if we change the URL here in the browser, the Getting Started page loads. If you click on the logo in the website, the Getting Started page loads as well. So that's where it's defined as the home page. Not to be confused with a page called home, also found in that navigation menu. Now if we go back to the Getting Started page here, because it's defined as the, the home page, we can't go in and delete the page. If we mouse over the Pages menu, you can see the Delete option is grayed out. So what we actually need to do is we need to change the defined home page within our website. We're going to do that by navigating to the Admin Site Settings menu. Now as you can see, I'm already logged in as a host or a super user account. The steps we're going to perform can be performed by a host or an administrator. So within the Site Settings page, we're going to navigate to the Advanced Settings tab. And under the Page Management section, we're going to choose the Home Page option. We're going to choose the page called Home as our home page. So from there, we'll go ahead and scroll down, click on Update at the bottom of the page. That will save our site settings. And if we go ahead and navigate back to the Getting Started page, within the Pages menu, we now have the ability to delete the Getting Started page. We'll go ahead and click on the Delete option and then click Yes to confirm. When you delete a page in .NET Nuke, that page is moved to the Recycle Bin. You can find the Recycle Bin underneath the Admin menu with the Recycle Bin option. And here we find a list of the pages that have been deleted from our website, as well as a list of modules that have been deleted from the website. From here we can choose a page or choose a module and restore that page or restore that module. We can also delete the page or we can click on the empty recycle bin option to empty the entire contents of the recycle bin. Once we've emptied the recycle bin, that will remove the page and all of those existing modules from that page from the website. We no longer have the ability to restore that page to our website. If we were to go ahead and click back on the .NET Nuke logo here, you can see that takes us to the home page within our Awesome Cycles website. In additional videos within the .NET Nuke video library, we'll show you how to go through and configure additional options for the Awesome Cycles business.